Okay, so this is the dedicated scatter terrain video. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be covering um, this sheet here, um, which has got most of the scatter on it, and you'll find this, for example, in the village uh, core set. Uh, but also we'll be covering any other scatter that is on um, the other buildings that we have. Now, as we go through with our other tutorial uh, videos making the buildings, you'll see that we do actually put some scatter together because that scatter is unique to that particular building and we don't see it anywhere else. The purpose of this video is that many of these items here are spread across many of our different buildings. You're gonna get lots of barrels and lots of tables and lots of weapon racks. So I don't wanna bore you on every tutorial video showing you how to put those together. I'm gonna do one video that shows you how to put it together here. So if you're making a building and uh, you're looking at our tutorial and you come back, you're like, well, hang on, you haven't shown me how to put this weapons rack together yet. Then come to this video here for the weapon rack and we will be able to you know, talk you through it as it were. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start with this sheet here and I'm gonna pop out each of these items and show you how they assemble. Uh, and then I've got a few little items off to the side that don't come on this sheet that are also popular across our range. Okay, so here we go then. Mm, where do I start? Um, let's start with something simple like a chair. So I'm gonna pop out this uh, grand chair here. That's it, that's the part of a chair, and it really just does slot together very easily. You start by putting this part in here, and then you slot on the two sides. And that's it, there's your lovely little chair. Um, with these smaller items, like these kind of chairs, um, I would normally glue these, you're never gonna take them apart. Um, and they look great when they're penned up as well. There's one I did earlier, okay. Um, so uh, yeah, that's your chair, nice and simple. What have we got next? Couple of chairs from this set, I'm just gonna put these together. And again, very simple. All you do is you slide the seat in first and then you put this piece underneath. So I'll do that. There you go, two very simple chairs. One of the slots a bit tight on this one, so I just adjusted it um, and that's good to go. Um, probably don't even need to glue those, but you can do if you want to, um, if you've got a loose slot or something. Um, yeah, couple of chairs, what's next? Okay, so here's the chest, um, and again, there are some longer chests and some shorter chests, so this is a this is the shorter one. Uh, they assemble exactly the same. Uh, anyone who's put any of our sort of little cargo crates from our sci-fi range, etc. together, they're almost identical to that. The difference with these ones is that they've got this half cut here, which gives you this little lid function, as it were. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to just slide all the, um, uh, the, the front and the sides on to this. And when you've got that in, give it a good push down, make sure it's all completely level. And then you've got this like lidded little box. Now, with all of these kind of uh, crates, you've then got uh, a couple of these. Now you'll find that one of these pieces has got this kind of internal texture on it, um, which is um, on both sides. And then you've got one that's got internal texture and it's got an external texture. This is the one that's gonna go in the bottom here, okay? Uh, and so what you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure that it faces external texture down and you're gonna pop that in there. Um, you can, if you, if you squeeze the inside of here a little bit, you can actually create a little bit of tension and that will stay in there quite happily. And if you just want a cargo crate like that, uh, a chest that's like that with this like little open lid, then that's all you need to do. There is no gluing uh, required. What I like to do is I like to put this bit on. And I like to do it because it allows you to have a box which has got like this, it's got a little bit of friction that you can just open and close it and then you can hide things in it and search it and so on and so forth. Now in order to do this, the best thing to do is to, um, before you glue this part in the bottom, is to basically do the same thing but with this. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to basically, we're gonna apply a little bit of glue here and we're gonna close, we're gonna close the lid and we're going to pop this in the top here and push it down. And that makes sure that it sits inside in exactly the right position so you can glue it. So I'm gonna protect my table here. And I'm just using ordinary super glue for speed because it's super, super fast. Then I'm gonna close the lid, making sure I've got the right piece. And then that's what you, that's what you end up with. Um, and basically, yeah, 
I've got a little bit of tension there that I can feel now. So this is, I can leave this open. Now what I would do then is I would just glue the bottom, I would just glue this into the bottom. And to do that, I tend to, I tend to just drop a little bit of glue around the edge like this from the from the top so that I don't sort of like get glue on my fingers etc and then I'll just leave that to dry basically and then what you end up with is you end up with this nice little cargo crate which should click close and click open and that's basically what you're looking for uh, that's those you get lots of those what else have we got? We've got another chest over here, which I'm going to ignore. Uh, tables. You're going to get lots of tables, especially in places like the tavern. So, Okay, and so for the tables, what you've got, you've got two different types of legs here. Um, and only one leg will go in the, a, a particular place that it's supposed to go, otherwise it won't slot in. That will allow you to give you that kind of flat area. And then it's just as simple as just popping this across the top this way or you can do it this way and now on your sheets as well you'll notice you'll have little things like bowls and and, and, and little items like that um, and basically uh, I just then glue these little bits and pieces on top and your tables end up uh, much much more interesting now with the table and lots of these furniture items you'll notice here that they've got these like little Little handles here almost and the idea of these are is that you can um, connect them into your building so I'll just give you an example if I lift this up um, I've got a uh, and in fact here look there's there's one of the there's one of the bigger chests very cool what I've got here um, I've got just the top half of a building and you can see here that I've got a bed in there and I've got a bookcase in there which have got a similar little tab sometimes they will have this kind of um, full kind of like clip that, that slides up and other times they'll just have like a little tab like this um, and the idea is is that on your walls you get these double slots on many of the walls not all of them um, and it allows you to be able to kind of connect things into your building so that they don't move about that much um, so that when you're gaming you're lifting bits and pieces up yeah that's great that, that all stays in place um, so um, so yeah that, that that's your tables really uh, easy to assemble and you'll get lots of those across multiple sets Move those to one side so here's your bed pieces really simple um, it's really basically just two pieces and then you've got these little pillar pillar bits two half cuts here and here I'm going to bend them through and once I've done that there's two little slots here they're going to slot over here there's a little tab which locates into this little hole at the back and that's all I'm going to do I'm going to locate that tab first once it's in you kind of rotate this back with your fingers to close this gap a little bit at the back and then just sort of push the whole thing down and then you've got a couple of little pillars there and there you have it the beds come in different shapes and sizes too but they assemble exactly the same and uh, generally you'll get a bed that's like a half size, like a single bed as it were. Uh, but like I say, the assembly is exactly the same, different colors as well. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the barrels. Uh, the barrels, there are lots and lots and lots of barrels across the sets. Barrels are one of my favorite um, items. I think that when you get lots of them together, they look fantastic on a battlefield. They really do look uh, amazing. Here's a little barrel here. They do require, uh, you to glue these uh, together um, but of course it's, it's, it's a one-time deal and then you end up with this solid little uh, barrel really really nice there's a couple of ways that you can uh, um, uh, basically in essence what, what you're going to do is you're going to there's a load of half cuts on here you're going to bend this round and you're going to glue these top and bottom so it ends up like that now you can do that any way you like what I found is a good way to do that is to bend the barrel round first um, and then I kind of open it up again. Um, I make sure that these these are roughly going to fit in there. There's normally a little bit of a gap at this side, but as you glue and you push round, that gap tends to close up. Um, yeah, that tends to tends to close close up. If the gap's a bit big, 
it can sometimes be where you've taken it off the sprue you've got like extra like little lumps of these little tabby bits like that so you could always just sort of like clean that up with some uh, clippers just 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 to, just to make it a bit neater and tidier I will get a little bit of glue and I'll dob it on there and I will basically leave that to dry leaving it not at the top but a little indent so you get that nice barrel look then I would then glue around the edges so I'm just going to show you what I mean if you want a barrel that's open and I do definitely assemble quite a few of my barrels having them open you just put one in on one side and then when you're done all you're going to do is you're going to dip your glue in again and you're going to run some glue across the top of here later when this is dried and then you're going to wrap it round and then um, hold it in place if you've got a glue that doesn't dry so quickly I just get an elastic band and just wrap it round here and hold it into place while it's drying um, I do all my barrels or barrels in one go if I've got lots of barrels I just have an assembly line and I'll just get those um, uh, done and out of the way that is your barrels you will have a lot of barrels they do look fantastic okay so let's have a look here okay so here's the fireplace you've basically got a front two sides and an insert a uh, couple of half cuts on here one across the top of here got to be a bit careful quite thin there and that kind of creates a, 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 a mantle piece, mantle shelf. Um, and you've got a little bit of a cut here that just allows that to bend slightly. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to basically have the sides on here. And then what you've got here, you've got this like double slot here. And that should just give you enough room to to kind of let this press into place behind here. There's like a little tab area. I'm gonna pop that on. And that's your cool little fireplace. You'll immediately notice that we've got one of these little hook lugs here. That means that you could hook it into an area of your building, um, upper or ground floor, that will allow that to stay in place when you're moving things around. Okay, so that's the fireplace. I think that looks really, really cool. Very happy with that. Okay, here's your weapons rack. I've popped these little bits of scatter off here as well, labeled as scatter, because you can kind of glue them on the weapon rack if you want, it looks really cool. Um, so on the weapon rack, there's only one part that's got a half cut just across here, which we're gonna very carefully bend. And this is the part that's actually gonna be facing forward in the weapons rack. So then what you do, you take these side parts here and they kind of slot in this little gap that you've got here and you can see weapons racks already coming together uh, and finally two slots locate across the top here now like I say what you can do at this, this point is to um, just angle that a little bit you can basically glue some of these bits and pieces in here of course you know some of the bits and pieces stand there but they're not gonna they're not gonna they're not gonna come on they're not gonna kind of hold up to you know some aggressive gaming especially if you're if they're in a building you're lifting the tops up but there are a lot of these here so and across your sets you are going to get certainly um, in the battlefield which is where these really um, the battlefield core set and some of those buildings that come from those set like the watchtower and the guard hut you're going to get lots and lots of you'll get you'll get weapon racks and you'll get lots of this scatter um, they're probably uh, in fact they are they're labeled you've got like lances and swords and bows and things like that okay um, and the idea is is that you should then you know put these on here and glue them into place and they look really really fantastic um, so what I'll do is uh, this is the one from that scatter uh, from the um, uh, the furniture item sheet uh, and, and I said that you can put those two bits on there this is what it looks like and I think that looks really really cool um, with these two bits and I've glued these in so they're not coming out and you can see here I've got one with lances and swords on which looks really really cool uh, and this is what the bows look like as well um, which is also really cool what you'll notice with these two 
some of the weapon racks have little lugs on them in some of the sets and that's to help you locate them into uh, various places um, but weapons racks uh, do look fantastic um, so I'm really really happy with them okay so uh, let's move those over to there okay so here's the components of your bookcase you've got a back two sides and some shelves um, you've also got some books here um, you'll see that some of them have got little half cuts on it um, like here and here and here in fact some of them don't they're just straight closed books um, I guess um, and of course um, you know they look great on a table etc uh, or if you want it completely open you can lay it flat here as well uh, but vice versa these little bits here also look good on the bookcase um, but let me show you how to put the bookcase itself together first all you need to do is um, you need to just locate these little these little slots at the bottom into these slots here and then we're going to push the shelves into the front and there you have it there's your little bookcase again one of my favorite items um, and you've got this little lug on the top which will allow you to uh, if I put it up the right way which will allow you to kind of push it into the um, into a, uh, a wall to hold this in place um, and you can see here that that's exactly what we've done in this little uh, building here so this is tabbed through the back so that that won't move around okay um, and then what you do then is you just put your little books on in whichever kind of cool pattern you uh, that, that you particularly like um, and you fill it up and I glue these into place every time so that you end up with something like this move this out of the way uh, oh yeah something like this and in fact look I've glued this one on upside down I've got a tab here on the top which means I've probably located this in a different setting where I've got a tab on the top um, but you can literally just pop these shelves out and spin the shelves out the other way um, even with the glued items on it which will allow you to tab it in the bottom as well so a very flexible um, uh, piece of, uh, uh, of furniture and it just looks really really good in any kind of um, house or uh, so on and so forth so so here's a really nice one to start with you have got a cart this comes on the storage barn so um, I'm going to show you how to put this together it's really simple you've got a base and you've got two sides that we're going to slot in and then you just pop the wheels on now what I would do I would absolutely glue the wheels on at least um, uh, and I guess you could just glue the whole thing together to make it nice and sturdy um, and that means that um, you can put like you know barrels and, and bits and pieces in it uh, as part of your uh, village set carts are really good you get lots of different types of carts um, for example you've got this which slots together exactly the same way um, it's just a little bit bigger and it's got uh, a little seating area and it's got some bits that are different shapes um, because this is bigger you can fit some bigger items in the back and so on and so forth so yeah you'll find the carts scattered across um, various different sheets sometimes you'll get broken carts and so on and so forth what else are we going to get a lot of you're going to get a lot of stairs um, or steps so um, stairs are really really simple you've got these two parts here you'll pop out all the little bits in between and it really is just a case of slotting these in top and bottom as it were so I'm just going to do that there okay and there's a set of uh, steps or stairs very very good very very easy you'll see that you've got this one extra big on some of the sets uh, if it's needed you've got this one extra big platform which goes at the top which allows this to be at the correct level for you know houses that have got doors over here uh, uh, and so on and so forth what you might also find is that um, some steps in some sets have got a slightly different step on them and you'll see here that this next step down is slightly bigger than these steps here whenever you see that you might get one or two of them um, this one always locates at the very top here not this top platform here and the reason is is because sometimes when you're using your steps you don't actually use this top part but you would use this to connect onto a floor and what this does it stops there from being a big gap here if you was to use a smaller step so watch out for that and if you're not happy with the big gap at the top then make sure you've got your step in the right location so there's that okay um, ladders you're going to get lots of ladders 
Um, there's two main types of ladders, um, a, a standard ladder, the big ones like this, uh, and a smaller one. I'm just going to pop out all these little bits. Okay, so there's your two ladders. Um, always be extra careful when popping out these little bits from here. I mean, these ones virtually fell out, um, but you get different stamp pressures on tooling. So, um, but yes, um, just a standard ladder. Not really much to talk about there. You can, you know, use it to get access to upper levels, etc. These ladders uh, you'll get lots of as well. They've got a little tab on them. They're, these ones are generally, generally for ground floor access. Okay, and you can see here, um, I've already got one in place here in this building and it's just been tabbed through the bottom just like the furniture and that yeah that 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 will sit there and give you access to the upper level as it were um, again remember don't don't get rid of any of this because you're going to get a lot of it if you've got a lot of our um, various different buildings and it's um, it's really good for putting in barrels or just scattering across your battlefield and if you you know and I just tend to keep all my scatter in you know little baggies so that I've, I keep it all together um, all my little stepping stones that you'll find stepping stones scatter that goes outside your front door so it, it just makes your your houses look uh, better I've got lots of little push outs here and odd little leftover shields that I've not used um, uh, just lots of little bits and pieces and I like to keep it all together so that it's nice and neat. Um, so yeah, don't get rid of any of that scatter. What else have we got? We've got a very simple box crate. This is identical to our normal cargo crate sci-fis, but with a uh, for any of you that have got that, but it's got a wooden texture. So really simple. You've got you've got two so yeah, well you've got four sides, um, and then you've got like a lid, um, very similar to this. You're going to push one bit down to the bottom. So. Uh, I'm just going to slot this together, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, and that's the sides for you. Again, you've got two textures, you've got one that's all inside and then you've got one that's got a wooden piece at the bottom and so you face the inside texture up and drop that in the bottom. There you go, that's that, that's held in place nicely uh, already. Um, and then if you want to, you can just put that on the top and then that is your box if you don't want to do anything else. Uh, of course, we do want to do uh, some, some more stuff and I like to pop a little bit of glue under here. And there you go. I've got this little popped in here now and what that does is that sits on top and stops that from sort of coming off, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, and you've got this little kind of cargo crate. You can hide little objectives in there, etc. and so on. Lovely little uh, box crate. Love that. Um, so that's that. What else? You will see a few of these as well. This is a what we call an out storage, I think, something like that. So you've got two little bends here and you've got this little shelf that goes on this side. Make sure you don't push that in too far to obscure these, um, these little uh, lugs here. And then what happens here is you've got these two areas here which kind of slot over these two little uh, tabs like so. And then when you want to get into your storage, you can just lift that top piece off. Um, you'll see the big slot across here. And the reason that is, is so that you can slot this into your building. Okay. And you can see I've got one here set up on this little house. And from the inside, what it does, it gives you that nice little uh, kind of table feature inside whilst at the same time holding this out storage bit from here. And, you know, put a little chair in there or whatever. Um, and, um, yeah, have your, little, have your supper on there. Because we've got some bowls, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some bowls. Okay, uh, yeah, there's a bowl. So, um, okay, so you can absolutely, um, this is a great little thing. And, and, again, it connects onto the side of your building, which is great if you need to move your buildings around or you knock them or whatever. Um, that's really, really cool. Uh, only really a couple of things left here. We have got, you'll see some of these kicking around. Um, these are basically um, just a bench and they almost need no explanation. I think you'll see them in the market. Um, I think the thatched cottage has got some. There might be some spread across uh, a few different sets. They really are as simple as that. And like anything else, if you've got some books or bits and pieces uh, of scatter that you can put on them, then, you know, um, then they look, they look all the better as well. Um, so that's really, really cool. Um, so I'll pop that here. I've got some books here. Sometimes when you're uh, on uh, at least one of the sets, we've got like a double book here. Um, 
we know you're going to glue some of this stuff together and stick it on so if you get a double book like that without a cut in it just um just like it's just so that you can have a nice base to start piling up some bits and books books and bits and pieces and then you put that like on a table or something like that glue that in place that'll look fantastic as well so um on places like the market and um and a few other different uh, sets i think the baggage cart gets one and so on and so forth you'll see these little box crates so i'm going to pop this out so that's these components here um these box crates they're designed to look a bit rickety shickety uh that again they're, uh, not not real words i don't think um but uh, they've got some half cuts here um uh, and you just pull these round and then very carefully you kind of need to hold this in place while putting this across the top um and, and this is definitely an item that i would um once it's in place i'd, I'd, I'd kind of just drop some liquid glue in there so it kind of holds it in place but i'm going to pop this on now so i find the best way to do it is basically to start from the bottom and just push it down until it's kind of level with the table um, and then you get your little box crate like so um, there's a little piece left over from the middle um, you could always use that as a kind of a, a lid if you wanted to um, sometimes I have them as like chopping boards in a in another set or something like that so um, or you can just pile them up they look good in the market piled up maybe people are out buying planks of wood I don't know um, and so you've got this little box crate here these look really nice penned up as well because um, uh, because they've got really dark texture on them um, so if you just get a kid's felt tip pen black, uh, a black and brown felt tip pen I guess um, and just do that over the top of there they look really really great when you get lots of them together like in a market or something they look really fantastic so so yeah whatever scatter it is that you've that you've got and that you're using um, it's the scatter that really does bring everything in your sets to life um, it's it for me it's make or break on any terrain it's the little small details that you put together that really do start to to, to make the difference um hopefully i think you agree and um have uh, you know lots of fun putting all your little bits and pieces and uh, uh scattered together